I don't think it would have been too much for Mossberg to take it in and say, hey, look, we'll take a look at it. You'll have to pay some, but, you know, we're going to stand by our product because you clearly have an issue. Mossberg 930 semi-auto shotgun, four plus one. Let's try that again. All right, hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at my Mossberg 930. I have owned it for 10 years. I remember I went to Walmart back then and was going there for coffee and bread. I ended up walking out with the shotgun. It was about 500 bucks. They don't even make this model anymore. They have upgraded models that are closer to eight and nine and a thousand dollars but i was so happy to get this and initially it performed great i, I had no issues with it whatever whatsoever i really enjoyed owning this shotgun you can see it has an 18 and a half inch barrel with this standoff choke that is also known as a door breacher four plus one but one of the first things i did was put a nordics component tube extension it went about this far past the muzzle and it was a nine plus one and it performed great but after a couple years and for those who are following this channel may remember this i was having ejection issues all right so i have a little jam there two and three quarter inch shells i've got nine loaded up let's go I'll hit that safety Having another jam here. Not exactly sure what's going on. We're gonna try that again. I've never had a problem with this shotgun. It did not experience any abuse, any extreme conditions or anything like that. But for some reason, it's not ejecting that first shot shell. So let's try it, see what happens. If it doesn't work, we're moving on. If it does work, then it works. All right. There's that jam again, but it was even worse. It would fire one shot and the shell would hang up right there in the, in the ejection port. It, it happened on a regular basis. And so where I fell short was I put it away in the safe and left it there. But after a while, more, more like just recently, I decided I need to get this thing fixed. I do like the shotgun. I want to use the shotgun. And, you know, it's a, it's a Mossberg. It's a fine shotgun. So I contacted Mossberg. This is where I am disappointed because when I contacted them, they said that shotgun is out of warranty. There's literally nothing we're going to do unless you pay for everything. Now, all I've heard throughout the years is Mossberg has amazing customer service they're they're phenomenal they take care of things on a timely basis and they get it back to the customer fairly quickly so that's what i was expecting but they said after five years we're done so in order for us to fix this you need to send it in pay for it yourself pay for parts labor and shipping back in order for us to fix it. The, he was a nice guy. I don't have a problem with the person. The policy kind of shook me up a little bit because I wasn't expecting that. And then he basically said, if, if you want it fixed, you're better off taking it to your local gunsmith. Okay, fine. At no point did I say, hey, look, I've done all these reviews for Mossberg. I, I never do that. I, I never do. I know some reviewers do. And that may work for them. It doesn't work for me because I want the same experience as everybody gets. And so I didn't go there. I said, okay, fine. So I had this shotgun that did not work at all. It would fire one shot and the shell would get hung up right at the ejection. Now, I'm not a gunsmith. I'm not awesome at taking stuff apart and figuring out what's wrong and replacing everything with 
springs and screws and parts. It's just not part of my skill set. So I gave it to my friend Greg, and he said, I love that stuff. <laughs> so I was happy about that, and he cleaned it up a bit. Not that it was dirty, but he, he did a lot of research and, and basically fixed it, but it's, it's, I would say it's 90% fixed. I don't think it would have been too much for Mossberg to take it in and say, hey, look, we'll take a look at it. You'll have to pay some, but you know we're going to stand by our product because you clearly have an issue. And if you don't have an issue, we find that everything's fine, then you'll have to pay for shipping. But if we find an issue and it was a faulty Mossberg part, then we will replace it and you, you have to pay a portion. In order for me to send this in, pay shipping both ways and for the parts and the labor would have been, I would guess, between three and five hundred dollars. This shotgun cost me five hundred dollars. Now, some people may be watching this video saying, well, you're a baby. You, you should expect that because other people have to go through that. And perhaps that's true. But when I hear that Mossberg has such awesome customer service, they stand by their products, they'll do anything to make it right. They have quick shipping, they get their people right to it. They, they didn't do that with me. They basically said, too bad, take care of it locally. This is where I have a problem. Should all manufacturers have customer service like Ruger or for that matter High Point let's let's be honest here High Point will take anything and send it back if they can't fix it they'll send you a new gun Ruger will take anything back and they'll give you a breakdown of what happened and what the problem was they fix it and send it back Mossberg just didn't do that with me they were basically too bad it's it's your problem not ours good luck with it you waited too long well I waited too long but at the time when I had those issues was after five years of owning it. So when I put it in my safe and put it away, it wasn't so much my fault. I admit I could have handled it better, but I also believe that Mossberg could have handled it better. They could have stood by the product and at least offered something other than take care of it on your own. It's going to cost you a bundle to get it to us and you're gonna to have to pay for everything from beginning to end. Still love Mossberg products, but I'm going to be very cautious from this point forward. What I get, and I, I guarantee I won't be buying anything used because I don't trust their customer service and their policies. And that experience kind of soured me. Let me know what you think. If you had great experiences with Mossberg or if you felt that you were not treated well, I, I would like to know because it also let me know if you think I'm being a baby about this because it's all my fault. I take a portion of the blame, but not all of it. And that's where I stand. And I'm looking forward to hearing your feedback. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.